Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. Now I had a plan for this particular video before I begin the test that I will share with you in just a few moments, which was to share results in Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects and also in terms of battery. But in the meantime I did try a few things and also besides having already tested Final Cut Pro 10, I will leave a link down below. It's not Final Cut Pro 10 anymore, it's just Final Cut Pro. I will leave a link right over here i did find out a few more things which are not favorable to the m1 in that particular scenario so instead of having everything on this particular video i will just share with you some crazy information regarding adobe premiere and some crazy information regarding battery and then on the next video i will share with you the results that i got on final cut pro which were not that good nonetheless i'm really impressed we these machines equipped with the M1. I'm really curious to see what comes next in terms of Apple Silicon M2 and M3 and M4, whatever they call it, for especially the desktops. That being said, in terms of tests, and let's focus on Adobe Premiere, which is a software that I love, but as we all know, it's a heavy software. And even Windows computer beefed up with i7 8700 K with an RTX 2070 and 32 gigabytes of RAM or 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is on this machine right over here. It's not easy to work with Adobe Premiere and it's not easy to render. And the result that I'm going to <laughs> it's mind blowing, at least for me, it was mind blowing. Now, I did a simple video using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G, which is I'm testing out at this moment. And I did record two kinds of file. The first one was H264, 4K 30 frames per second. And I also recorded a 4K 30 frames per second HEVC, which is a bit more demanding for any computer. So having those two files, I wanted to do something really, really simple. Just a timeline with five minutes, H264, 4K, 30 frames per second, and a MacBook Air and MacBook Pro specifications I'll show you somewhere on the screen so that you guys can be aware of what it is and what not. And the thing that really surprised me is that when I pressed that render button and I did exactly same render output on all the machines that I tested and the MacBook Air takes only 3 minutes and 10 seconds and this was BAM and I thought okay so I did something wrong right over here let's do the test again and I did again and again and this is the result so for the first time in I don't know ever since ever I never seen a result such as this on any computer usually it takes at least the same amount of time let's say that the timeline is five minutes it will take roughly five minutes or four minutes and something to render a file in Premiere and I'm talking about a clean timeline no effects nothing special even on these beefier computers, but on the Apple M1 MacBook Air, it took three minutes and 20 seconds. Now, if we compare with the MacBook Pro 2018 with a quad core i5 CPU, it took 21 minutes and 51 seconds. And if you ask me, hey Robert, are you surprised with that result? Not at all. That's a normal result for what we had so far. Having a laptop computer working with Adobe Premiere would be my last suggestion to any one of you guys. And that's one of the reasons that I work with Final Cut Pro, not 10 anymore, because it's really fast to render. It's a simple tool to edit simple videos. Basically, that is it. These kind of videos that you see right over here on the channel are all edited on Final Cut Pro. Now, two more results because I want to share with you the result of my Mac Mini and also one of these Windows machines. Now, just to compare my Mac Mini with a dedicated GPU and a superior CPU, theoretically at least, I did render the same exact file, the same everything, I've got the same operating system, everything is updated exactly the same and what happens right over here is that it takes seven minutes and 24 seconds to render. And that is not a bad result at all, but it's not as good as the MacBook Air with the M1. Now this led me to another curiosity, which is, okay, let's try this project on the Windows computer to see the difference. 
And there we go. We did start rendering the same project, the same thing. And i7 8700K with the 2 gigabytes on that system and it took 11 minutes. So this is something huge for the Apple Silicon, especially because Adobe Premiere states or Adobe states that Premiere and other tools are still not optimized for the Apple Silicon. So I'm a bit static here. How will they optimize more than this? Will it render in 30 seconds, one minute? Mm, not really sure, but as it is, it's wow, wow, it's game changing, it is. Now, I did uh, one more test, but before that, another thing which is mind blowing, comparing just the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Air doing this particular uh, test, and I did start them with a full battery, 100% on both. MacBook Air, 33 minutes rendering states at 100% battery. No discharge at all, at least the small amount did not uh, was not able to reduce the percentage on the display. On the other hand, the MacBook Pro got to 61% of battery with this test. And this is easy, it took more time, more heat, more energy dissipation and energy waste. So yes, this is it. And, and this is mind blowing, a kind of performance such as this with a low usage in terms of battery is just insane. Have in mind that I do not complain about my MacBook Pro battery because I take it to school where I teach and it takes me all day using PowerPoint and so on and so forth, which is the best laptop that I had in terms of battery, but not anymore. The MacBook Air is so much superior, which is it's just mind blowing. Now for the second test, I did use HEVC file, I did the same thing, which was to create a timeline with roughly 5 minutes and 20 seconds. And what happens is simple and uh, no effects at all. Just the file, put it there and then render it. No effects at all. The MacBook Air took 3 minutes and 20 seconds, so not long uh, compared to the H.264 file that we used. And the MacBook Pro took 24 minutes and 50 seconds. So we are talking about more 4 minutes more or less. And here, while we check the battery, in terms of the MacBook Pro, we were almost running out of battery, 7% and I thought, okay, I will need to plug in this thing before, but I didn't, 7%. And the MacBook Air uh, with 98% of battery, which is just awesome and crazy. Now, more crazy is that I did a lot of tests last night and this morning and so on and so forth. And besides the Premiere, I also did Final Cut, which I've got a result which is not as good as this one that we saw right over here and goes against the best result that I got on my last video. I'll share that on the next video. But what happens is that I did a lot of tests in the Premiere, Final Cut, different projects and so on and so forth. And I got 70% on the MacBook Air. No charging, nothing, just 70%, still right over there with 70, well, probably 69 right now, something like that. The MacBook Pro, uh, in overall, on these old tests, I had one full charge, which discharged all, and then I charged it overnight, last night, uh, all again. So two complete charges, and I had to finish the test to charge it half. So I would say two full charges and a quarter, used for all these tests, while the MacBook Air only used 30%. And this is mind-blowing. It's just awesome and crazy to see this kind of technology and have the privilege to test this kind of technology. Guys, and this is it. For the next video, I will share with you the Final Cut Pro uh, results, which were not as good. And I will also share one video with Adobe After Effects, which I'm really curious to see if it's as good as it is with Adobe Premiere. Because if it is, then I will need to change my main machine in terms of editing. Well, but let's see about that. Hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.